Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm pleased to be joined by Jack Waters of Ziplink. Jack, thank you for joining us. I've known you for many years, but tell me a little bit more about Ziplink and how it's progressing in the market. Thank you, Richard. Uh, Ziplink is a WAN optimization company. We call it wireless link optimization. We're in the satellite business. We've been in the business for many years. Uh, we sell generally to service providers and satellite operators to optimize their satellite connections to get more traffic over it more efficiently and deliver more data to the end customer. Now, customer are always demanding more from you. What are they telling you at the moment? How is the market evolving? Well, the number one thing is more bandwidth. So luckily the HTS revolution a couple of years ago came to fruition, so there's much more average bandwidth. I'll use the cruise industry as an example, moving from an average of 20 megabits or so to four or 500 megabits per ship. And so that uh, number one was allow me to use more bandwidth, allow me to optimize more bandwidth uh, to my cruise ship as an example. So number one was bandwidth. Number two is flexibility. So let me connect to the satellite network and let me connect to the cellular network or any other network I might have uh, to my destination. And, and uh, we have technology that matches that. Now you've been in the industry a long time. You've seen it all before, but on the horizon, all of the new LEO constellations, everybody's talking about 5G. How does a satellite integrate with 5G? Does 5G integrate with satellite? How do you see it? How is it changing your view as a company? Well, it is changing it fairly drastically. And, and I'll start maybe a year ago, and, and the Leos were coming about, and now they're going to become reality here in the next uh, couple of years. Uh, we've turned ourselves toward what we call hybrid networking, and that is terminating many different kinds of connections onto the destination. So that might be a traditional Geo, a Mio, and a, and a Leo link. And we have technology, for instance, that allows all three of those to converge into a, what's called a hybrid network. And then you throw cellular in there, and that's another kind of connection. A second way I'll answer your question is, with 5G, we have a large business with cellular backhaul. And backhauling the uh, base station, of course, they're going to move. They've already moved from 3G to 4G. Now they're going to move to 5G, which is even higher bandwidth. So we are going to change our product, and we've changed our product to accommodate the higher speeds are going to result from 5G and you'll see those announcements over the next 12 months. So these are exciting times but looking forward next 12 months how do you see the market changing and how do you see Ziplink performing? Yeah the, the, the market is changing one way it's changing is some companies are verticalizing if uh, you watch Viasat for instance they verticalize uh, delivery to airplanes as an example uh, we're not verticalized, we're a piece of the equation, so we still serve the independents, uh, the iDirects of the world, and the new techs, and datums, and those kind of organizations. Um, and so what we see is, uh, like I said earlier, a little bit more bandwidth. Uh, 5G backhaul is a big business for us, and uh, Maritime, which is the number one business for us, continues to uh, deliver more bandwidth to the ships. Well, Jack, it's interesting times, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Great, Richard. Thank you so much.